Yeah. Start a jet? No, 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 no. And I just want you to watch everything. Your arms are going to wake up in this 15 minutes of standing there. It's probably going to shake you at the end, won't it? You've got to move around with me as well. Yeah. Obviously, when you're doing this, it doesn't matter whether I'm taking it to here or here, or yeah. just low. Yeah. You alright, mate? Yeah. Take a few, won't be long. The blending in will always be the same, the action will always be the same. As you come up, bring the clippers out a little bit if you can, and that will just help you on your blending in. Yeah. It won't create such a dead line. Around the back of you. I don't know about trying to put it on. Come back down. Now, where the hair goes that way and that way, and you've gone up, you have to go in that way, back that way, come down. All the angles you can, but it's not straightforward. Put the comb in upside down. So you're lifting it up with the comb as well as the clippers. Again, on this bit. I don't know. Oh man, I wouldn't want to do it just using that one. <laughs> Back down the ears. Make sure it's all the same length all the way around. Otherwise, when they wash it, you'll have a little bit sticking out. Yep. Right. So, uh, blending in. So, from this bit here, I don't know whether you can see what I'm doing at all. From this way. You'll be able to see on this. That are the bits that I'm taking off. You have to let me see though. Move around. <laughs> Move around. Just a good date, though. I'm number twelve already, yeah. 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 It's not because you've missed out. It's a Sunday and it's Friday, payday. Yeah, I think you might be skiving or something, you know. <laughs> yeah, I bet went out the field last night. Yeah, yeah. Hung over this morning. Down the beach with Aiden because he never <laughs> works Fridays. Thought it was Sunday. Yeah, it was. No, all I was meant to do the day really was go over a flat, get a few bits. Yeah, I'm, cause what I'm doing is I'm making one for a birthday card rather than buying him one. And I've, I've drawn a picture to stick on the front, mm -hmm. and uh, I went over the flat to get that originally. Push forwards this way. I'll take it off. Uh, literally right on the line of the hair. Mm. Yeah, so there's nothing coming out and round again. Same with these, just the same, and then put it back. So you come up, move the ear away a little bit, and look at the angle of the clippers. Yeah, bring the hair down, keep the angle the same. Right, when you're going to taper these, you've got to make these shorter. Just put the comb in the ways and just take the very edges off. You can see it's thinning it out bit by bit. Just take off fractions. 
and it come down, get thin enough to nothing. So we've got that, we're going to put a line in more or less there. So it'll come from the back of the curve, never make it curve around too much, make it just come off nice and neat. Doesn't matter if your line's not perfect when you first go, because you're going to put the clippers in that way. And you're going to come around and take it off. Once you've got it almost perfect, you can then start tapering this down. Take the weight out of that bit there, because you can see it's heavier. Turn the comb around. So we'll carry on, push the hair over. Don't ever try to go down to the skin with it. Just take off the ends each time you do it. Go away. Unless you've got arms with it. Again, taper the bottom bit down. Right, now we'll stop there because we don't know where this line's going to come down yet. Come around to the front. Take a flat angle there where we brushed it down. Again, brushing it forward. Take it off. Brush it all the way back, drop the comb down, again come round, see how the clippers move the ear out the way, yeah, yeah? use that a lot. Okay, take the weight out there. A bit more at the bottom. Make it the same to the other side. I come around, we're basically following the hairline all the way around because it curves around anyway. But we don't want to come around and in here, take it from there, and come down. Very gently. Right. Then we have to stand back, have a look at it, and make sure that it's both coming down even. This side's a little, oh, that side's a little bit lower than that side, right? So, just put the clippers in, right down very, very low, and just taper it up fractionally. And have another look, about the same. That you're not going to do anything about, it's just the way his hair goes. You could take a little bit of weight out the top if you want. But the more you take out, be very careful because the bigger that's going to get. Yeah. You're never going to make that darker, you're just going to spread it out a little bit more. That's what you've got to be a bit careful. Make sure there's no hair running around the edges. And sometimes taper out even where you've brought it around here. See the hair naturally curls around that way. Put the comb in and try to taper that down a little bit. Very, very slightly, just taking the edge off. Right. Don't get me time wet. So, top, you'll brush it that way, I brush it that way, doesn't matter. Come in. There's your line. There's your line. If you can't see it, tell me, and I'll show you. There's your line. Mm -hmm. See it? First bit popping up there. Yeah. many sections as possible, all the way through. Round to the crown. 
Grab the crown. Stop. There's the crown. Brush it to the side. We'll take your second section. No trouble. Not bad. See, so you got the real worker with you today. You just knew it was going to happen as soon as you walked through the door, didn't you? Oh. And yet you had such a good time taking the mic out of me last time. Never. You did. You did. I'm just down the barber shop, mate. I'll be out in a minute. Down the barber shop. Just doing a sign. I'll be out in a minute. All right, right. Taking off the little ledge that's there, you see. Yeah. I don't know whether you can see it from that angle, that little ledge. Can you? Yeah. I mean, you might need to go in front and look this way or come round. Yeah. So that's what we're taking off, otherwise, we'd have a step there. You can see it quite clearly on my fingers up and down. It's going to be grade three in. Oops, up there. I've never looked at it from that angle, so I'm hoping that you can see more or less the same as what I can see from yeah, this side. Yeah, yeah. Come around. We've gone a little bit past the crown, that's good. Because now all that is done on that section. Go back to the top. Pick up, there's our first section. That was our second. Let's drop it there. So we'll come across to this side now. And work our way. Are you right looking for the angle? Or do you want to come from this angle so you get the actual angle here of what we're cutting off? Because it's going from the top part here that we started cutting. So we're going around the head. Down to the crown. So our first section was here. If you like that one. Our second one was here. Yeah. Our third one was here. Our fourth one's there. And the fifth one's going to be this section here. So it's going to be from there blending in up to the last one, which is there. Okay, fringe. Come round, take your centre section first, finger underneath, pull it down, around about the same amount that we've been taking off from the top. Come across, take off a tiny little bit there, because the hair is seeds in there, a lot of people's dust doesn't matter. If it doesn't, you'll have a little bit more to take off here. And to this side. And again, as you can see, we're heading into these corners here. Turn it slightly. Right, that's that bit done. Then we'll take the weight out, which is that section there. Very slight because the corners haven't got anything. Come around to a point there. Take that off. That bit there. More or less rounding it. As you cut, you cut a round shape onto the fringe. Cross checking. Section in the middle. Clean. Even if you just run the scissors across the top, you might not take anything off, but the little tiny blips will take out all finger mark sections. Okay. One, two. This side. It's a tiny little bit there, very, very slight. Again, a tiny little bit there, maybe there. It will notice if you don't take it off. This side. So cross, 
you can see that the hair, no matter which way you brush it, hasn't got any lines in it. Yeah? Okay. You push pause, which is, uh, you can see now that we've shaved up there. We've just got that little bit of blending because this is quite heavy from where we cut it and it comes around. Mm -hmm. Another way of looking at it is in the mirror and it will show you that it comes out and then back again. So we're just going to take off small finger lines, finger marks. Can you see right from there or do you want to stay on this side looking in? You know, it's a bit dark that side. So. I'm just making sure it's all smoothed off. Can you see the angles on the cone that I'm taking off from that or not? Can you mm, see the bits? When you do it slowly, you can. That's right, because we can slow it down. There are tiny little bits coming off, not all the time. Thank you.